Okay, um, so this is part four of uh, uh, the video uh, data processing in Chrome Median uh, using GC uh, GCMS. So in the last video, I showed you uh, you know how to create um, how to create this component table. You know we added symmetron and then we added the MS quant peak con and two confirming peaks. And uh, if you saw my last video, you know. Like uh, I realized that th there's this extra peak 184, you know, which is which is not present in the uh, uh, symmetric spectra, right? So, 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 so obviously, you know, this is uh, s something that is co-eluting, and uh, this is a good uh, uh, way to show that why you should not quantitate on the tick, you know not quantitated on the total line chromatogram because you know if you would have quantitated on the uh, total line chromatogram the tick you would have got uh, you know wrong results and since you know you would have added added in results for 184 into your symmetric um uh results basically so uh, you know the, the, the this is a good way to show that you know the uh, show the importance of why we need to quantitate on a unique mass spectral peak uh, which is unique to symmetron so 213 is, is unique to symmetron and there's a good chance that um, you know if there is any co in this uh, 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 if there's any coalition at this point you know it's probably not going to be 213 right if it is 213 then we can't do anything about it you would need something more uh, selective like a uh, triple quad um this is <coughs> like a full scan spectra so um anyway uh, so b based on that let me show you how uh, you know how we can extract uh, each of these ions i know like uh, i've i already have a video which shows how to extract an ion uh, but let me do it again over here so you right click extract ion chromatogram and i want to extract 213 right so this is where I was showing you like 213 and 500 AMU, uh, MMU so you know plus or minus I think it's plus or minus uh, uh, 0.25 so that will you know cover 213.1 also so uh, if I click OK OK so you know it has extracted let me uh, you, like the view is like uh, um, overlaid so let me so I want it in a separate window, right? So uh, what what I would do is you know go to the chromatogram, pane, layout, and do stacked. Okay, and I don't want to do signal offset. So there you have. So so this is the like the top part of the window or top of the top part of the pane is extracted ion for um, uh, for two thirteen and uh, let me go back to the tick so that I have the mass spectra and let me extract 184 also okay I want to make sure or I want to see what it looks like so um, extract 184 click OK and uh, this is 184 so le uh, let me do this let me do this let me um, I don't want to see the tick now okay so I will just look at the 184 so this is where you would go uh, on, on the left hand side the channels so it has extracted 184 ion and let me overlay it with 213 okay and uh, let uh, this time uh, this time I want to overlay so um, so go over here you know you always need to go to the chromatogram pane layout and overlay okay that's good so you know uh, what I generally do in these cases instead of zooming in I will right click and um, uh, auto scale so it will you know auto scale so there you have it so if I again zoom in so you can clearly see you know there's another component which comes off 
uh, very near the symmetron. Okay, so this is symmetron over here. So over here it shows 184 as a base peak. If I click over here, 213 is the base peak. So yeah, so so this is the symmetron, and you know 184 is coming off this one, right? So let me do a library search on this on this particular peak. So right click library search. It still shows symmetron as the primary one. Let's see. This one looks like uh, yeah. So you can see, you know the. Um, list library I mean the hit is 184 uh, I mean like 184 over here so I think there's a good chance that this is this particular pesticide which is coming off with symmetry so anyway I wanted to show you uh, this because you know um, so even if so if you knew that uh, this uh, uh, particular pesticide fubridazole is it what is it called Fubridiazole uh, is present in your mixture. You know you can um, uh, you can quantitate on the, that 184 peak, right? Uh, you know this is I mean this basically shows you the power of uh, the mass spectrometer. I mean you cannot do this on a FID or an ECD because it will show up as just one peak. You know it, it, it like it will show up uh, like the tick. So so it will show up like this. Let me want to scale this. So, so, so to show the, like this, but you know, obviously, you know, there are uh, two peaks inside this particular. So, uh, you know, this is an example of like what you say, manual deconvolution, right? So, if I do this and do this, so, so this is the tick over here, and you know, these are the two peaks inside that tick. So, uh, this is a good example to show you the power of uh, why you need a mass spectrometer. Um, you know, you, uh, why you paid extra uh, for that mass spectrometer instead of just getting an FID? You know, this is exactly why. I mean, you can clearly separate out two uh, two components from this one peak. Anyway, let me uh, stop the video over here, and then we'll continue afterwards.